Hi, I'm James Garvin. I'm with Denny Duma, and today we're going to talk about questions to ask when buying into older homes. We sell a lot of older homes. We've run into a lot of these questions, and hopefully you find this helpful. So I'll begin, and I'm going to start from walking up to a home. There's, there's certain things that I look for. Um, you know, you can't see all the problems of the home, but you can see often the condition of the roof. I look for evidence of, well, foundation settling, foundation cracks, and also more importantly, um, uh, drain tile. Uh, has the foundation been waterproof? Um, and that's probably one of the most common items that we run into when it comes to buying older homes is wet basements. Uh, aside from that, uh, you can look at the design of the home. Is there a lot of overhang keeping water away from the walls? Are the soffits properly ventilated? Um, how is the condition of the windows, the condition of the siding? And do you see an oil tank cap anywhere in that yard? So those are some of the most common things we run into on the outside of an older home. Denny, fire away. As you're walking through the home, obviously you're gonna notice all the cosmetic items, age of appliances, etc. cetera. Uh, but other bigger, bigger items that we're looking for, uh, electrical panel. So we wanna find the panel, see what service uh, the home has. Uh, if there is an unfinished basement, you can often see a lot of the electrical. So you're looking for knob and tube or older wiring. Um, you can look underneath uh, sinks in bathrooms and kitchens to see if any plumbing updates have been, uh, have been done. Um, you're also looking uh, at age of furnace, hot water tank, really looking at the systems of the home to see what has been done and what may be coming up soon. And just to add to that, the most common items that we run into is knob and tube wiring, mm -hmm. which can be an issue for lenders and insurance providers. Um, also poly B piping for homes built in the 80s and 90s. Uh, not that they're uh, always, you know, not that you have to avoid homes with poly B because sometimes it's unavoidable, but there, there have been issues, especially if it's in-floor heating. Um, and the, the last thing, if a house is really falling apart, it's really old and disintegrating, keep in mind that it, these homes need to be appraised. And sometimes the appraiser will give to these homes that are falling apart a short lifespan, which might affect the amortization of your mortgage and the down payment required on your mortgage. A lender may determine that you need 35% down or 50% down as opposed to 20. Um, <clears throat> speaking of that, <laughs> homes that are falling apart, land value. A lot of the homes that we're selling that are older are very close to land value. So if you're walking into a home and you're looking at two to three hundred thousand dollars in repair to make it livable but that home is a fraction of the size maybe 40 to 50 percent of the size that you can replace that structure with or build on that on that property often you're putting money into a teardown so just keep in mind before addressing all the items look at the land value of the property and if it's worth putting that much into the home from personal experiences i have put too much money into a teardown but it's you do it by choice i just want you to knowingly do it secondly uh heritage protection you can't freely alter any home you want some of these very old homes are heritage protected it's important that you check in with the city and and learn about what that involves or have your realtor do so anyway i hope you found this helpful is there anything else that you think we can add that was pretty good. I think we I think we covered most of it. We did. <laughs> Reach out if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. My name's James. This is Denny. That is all.